Hi everyone, this is Colin from Extreme File Link 2019. Today's video is going to be about TV Zion and Tract and how to set up your home screen. Let's get started and we'll open up the Tract website so we can set up some of your favorite lists. So first thing you want to do is just type in something to search for. So first thing we'll search for is like a Harry Potter list. So we'll search it. And you won't see anything right here, but as soon as you click on list, now you're going to see personal lists that people have already created so you can click on these lists to see what content they have so if you like the list that they set up you go up here to the top and click like if you don't then you can go back you can click on somebody else's list and you can pick someone else's list that you like but you have to click that thumbs up icon right there okay um you can type in something else like uh Halloween So right off the bat it's going to show all the uh, Personal lists that people set up for Halloween. It can show a collection of Halloween movies or just Halloween genre movies, you know, like this one has here. This will have like all the movies that people like to watch around Halloween time So if you like that list you just go up here to the top Click that thumbs up, it's going to go on like. So, now to look at all your favorite lists, you need to go you need to go back to your profile. So that little icon on the upper right hand corner, that's your profile. So you got to click that to go into your options for that. So now you scroll over to lists, and it's going to show all your personal lists that you set up down below. But you have to slot, you have to open this up here and go and select personal lists. So these are all the lists that I've liked. Halloween movies, Final Destination, Scream, Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, Stephen King, Halloween, Denzel Washington, John Wayne, latest releases, Chick Flicks for My Wife, National Lampoon Vacation. And these are all collections, you know, you can add to your home screen. So by clicking that like button. Now, if you didn't like one of these categories and you, and you didn't really do your homework and look through all the content and look to see what all the movies that it had and you're kind of disappointed after you already installed it on your tv zion all you got to do is click that thumbs up again to unlike it and it will remove that category from your track personal list okay so now we'll go ahead and go on the tv zion we'll get out of here and we'll open up tv zion so the first thing you want to do is is you want to go into this triangle here and you want to go into TV Zion here. And you can uh, select between TV or movie right here. First thing I like to do is set up my movie part because that's normally what I go into TV Zion for is to watch movies. Okay. So the first up next is always going to be on your home screen. You can't disable that. You can disable watch list, but you can't disable up next. And I'll show you how to disable the watch list and the settings after we do all this. So... If you click on a category and press hold, um, it will say add. It won't say save. It will say add. So you add, press add. Go to new and HD. Press add. Press and hold in popular in 2019. Press add. Okay. Now you're going to click on that triangle again. And you're going to go to attract. And you got to scroll over to my list. Those are going to be your personal list that you like from tracked website so you click on that and now it's going to show you all those lists that i liked from the track website will appear inside the app in this category so now you got to keep in mind whatever ones you press add to first it's going to go in that order so i recommend getting a piece of paper and writing down your favorite categories that you want to have come first okay like I said, I like opening it up and, and looking for movies first, so I have mine set up for movies. Like if you go back to Zion, after you set up those first three categories in theaters, new and HD, popular in 2019, then you can go over here to TV, and you can go to like popular in 2019 for that, and you can press add on that, okay? Now you go to back to your tract, so now you got your movie, and TV show favorite categories from TV Zion on your home screen now. 
now you want to add categories from tracked. Now, like I say, you can add from my list or feature list. Let's go to my list first, and you can see um, Halloween movies. You can click add. That will go to your uh, home screen. Final destination, press and hold that. Click add. Scream, click add. So whatever order you click these in, that's how they're going to appear on your home screen. And that's the ultimate goal. You want to have your home screen set up so you don't have to keep clicking up here and going through these categories here. You can have everything added to your home screen. So let's go to my home screen. And now you can see up next is going to be first because that's going to be what, what you watched recently is always going to be up there. And that's kind of nice to have that up there. So you can continue watching what you're watching before you don't have to keep looking for it. So in theaters, new in HD, these first three are from the movie section from the TV Zion category. And then that one's for the TV shows. Then I added 2000 movies, 80s flicks, great classic 90s movies, new HD release. That's just another list. I already have a new in, H, new in HD up here. But this is somebody else's list that has may have movies on here that I didn't see in this other one. So I just added that in there. Harry Potter, that's got the whole collection of Harry Potter. So you can click on that category and you can see it opens up and then everything is right here. Okay. Um, so that's now you got your home screen set up and then every time you open the app, it's always going to be on your home screen here. So we can go into our settings here. And the first thing you want to do is make sure you're logged into real bird and track before you even do any of all that. Um, you can go in here to real to bread options. Make sure you enable real to bread here. And click these other options on okay make sure that these are on you don't have to worry about the two on the bottom leave leave those off because if you click those on you're going to disable your cache torrents and disable the hosters so you won't get any roll to break content if you turn those on okay um, there's attract options here you can go in here and you can actually add and remove some of these Categories you don't like you, you see you can hide trending list you can tra hide tracked watch list hide track collection hide tracked history And all that other stuff here But I wouldn't hide anything on here um, except for maybe the most popular and and uh, Watch list so That's that part there Now you go into content and you're going to make sure you turn on cash torrent streaming here on the top. So make sure that's clicked on. Um, you can have these other browsers enabled if you want. It's nice to have all these uh, turned on. So all the content's available to you. Okay. And then you go back in here to link resolving. And in here you can uh, select some of these uh options here like select links found after five you can change that number there you can change this number from 360 all the way down to 10 seconds that's what i usually have mine because i don't think you want to sit there and wait six minutes for it to load links before it actually finds one that you that you like so i think it, it's pretty fast it's fast enough after 10 seconds to find something so that's going to be pretty quick for you so a lot of times it finds it within like two seconds so I have mine uh, auto select refire. Like if it didn't find anything that was working on the first source, it's going to refire and find something else. And you can, it's already changed to ten because I changed it to ten up there. Okay. Um. So you want to make sure you turn on prioritize cache torrents and prioritize cache torrents for movies and episodes. So these two here have to be turned on. That way, it prioritizes your real to bread links, and your cache torrents will come first. So it's going to pick the uh, it's going to pick a cache torrent before it picks anything else, which is probably the best link to have. Okay. So go on a link filtering, and make sure you have show only real to bread. So that way you don't have to use those free links that usually buffer. So make sure you have that turned on. And then you can keep scrolling down to these other options here. Um, this by default is set at a million. So it's going to pick a really, really big megabyte per second 
that would be a thousand it would be a thousand megabytes per second one million would be there's no way you're going to play that high that high of a link at that many megabytes per second so that means it's going to load the biggest files possibly zion can load up okay but if you look up here at a bitrate filtering notice it tells you 4K is between 35 and 68. So if you take that number and, and times it by a thousand, that's what you want to change this number to down here. A lot of these 4K links, you're not going to play them without buffer. And so I'd, I'd just stick with the 1080p or a small 4K file that might be 20, 20 megabytes per second. Okay. So 15,000 is the highest I'll ever go. Most people want to just set theirs to eight. And, um, so basically, that's that's uh, gonna be for your autoplay. It's if you turn autoplay off, you're gonna manually select your links anyways. So it's gonna still show all the links on your screen. This is only for autoplay. If you go on a playback, you can change your uh, player here to MX player. That's what I always use. Okay. You can also change um, how it actually loads up. Okay, um, by, by changing one of the options um, from link resolving, uh, let's see here, I'm looking for the default auto selection action. Okay, so if you want to use a different player other than MX player, you got to change this option to open with. Okay, so that way when you actually do find a movie, Let's just say you don't want to use uh, MX player. You want to use N player, NX player, or you want to use EUMC. Well, I don't. I don't have EUMC, but once I actually pick a movie to watch, I need to turn this off here. And now it's going to ask me what do I want to open it up with. So I have to find a different player that I want to open it up with. I don't have any other players installed on here but if i had eumc i would pick eumc or another player that's not in that list of default players in the tv zion app okay so i like mx player pro i really don't see any issues with it so i will actually go back into that setting and change it back and a link resolving i'll i'll change that back to play so i'll never have to change that but if that's something you wanted to do is use EUMC as a default player. You can actually have that set. As soon as you pick EUMC, it's going to ask you, do you want to use this just once or always? You're going to pick always. So whenever you actually do um, watch a movie, you don't have to actually open it with anymore. It's going to automatically open it with. Right now it's selected on play, but it will say open with, and then you're going to see a uh, different icon you can you can select. So it will automatically go to that player that you, you, you wanted, because you, you clicked on always. So, um, let's see, let's go back to resolving, change this back to open with. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Like that movie there. So as soon as it opens up, now it's going to say open with. And I'll say, I'm just going to have to say uh, VLC for now. Because I don't have, see now it says just once or always. So you want to click on always. So it always uses that player whenever you open with. Okay. Um, it's not going to always open that movie with VLC unless you have it on autoplay. Let's try to pick another movie just to show you what I'm talking about. Go to continue. And it's going to ask you again. Okay. You're going to see, you're going to notice on your shield it has these different icons. It's usually the fifth one over. I believe it looks like a double play icon. If you just select that and then turn this off, it's going to say open with and it will it's gonna you know display that across your screen you don't press that first play one on the left it's gonna be the fifth one over i think it's like a double play icon so that's that part 
And that's it. I mean,